Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial we will learn how to model and render room with false ceiling. This is part 1 of 2. We will start by importing the AutoCAD file. Hit OK. We will group the plan. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything. We will move the plan. Press W to move the plan and enter 0 in X axis and 0 in Y axis. Go to Shapes in Create Panel. Then choose Line. Press S for Snap. Right click then choose Convert to Editable Poly. We will select this polygon and extrude it 2 time 1 5 cm and the second 15 cm. Press F4 to get edged faces view. Hold Shift then choose the next polygon. Hold Shift then choose the next polygon. Press Delete. Press T for top view. Go to Modify tap then Attach. To change the viewport hold Alt then hold Mouse Wheel. Go to Create Panel then Plane. Make the distance between the length segment and width segment almost equal. Right click then choose Convert to Editable Poly. Select all the polygon then go to Inset. Make the amount 2 cm and Inset Type by Polygon. To change the viewport hold Alt then hold mouse wheel. Go to Bevel. Make the height equals minus 2 cm and the outline equals minus 2 cm. Press T for top view. Right click then hide selection to make your work very easy. Go to shapes in create panel then choose rectangle. Right click then choose Convert to Spline. Move the vertex until you get the desired shape. Go to Shapes in Create Panel. Then choose Line. Press S for Snap. Go to Modifier List then choose Sweep. Choose Use Custom Section. Until you get the perfect match.
Press F for front view. Press S for snap. Move the pivot alignment until you get the perfect match. Right click then hide selection to make your work very easy. Go to shapes in create panel. Then choose line. Go to Modify tap then Create Line. Right click then choose Convert to Editable Poly. Right click then choose Unhide All. Press T for top view. Go to shapes in create panel. Then choose line. Go to modify tap then create line. Right click then choose convert to editable poly. Press 4 to select polygon. We will select this polygon and extrude it. Press F3 for wireframe view. Press 1 to select Vertex. Right click then choose Unhide All. Press F4 to get Edged Faces view. Right click then hide unselected to make your work easier. Go to shapes in create panel. Then choose line. Press F4 to get edged faces view. Press R for resize.
press T for top view. Go to Geometry in Create Panel then choose Cylinder. Right click then choose Convert to Editable Poly. Press R for resize. Hold Alt to unselect any object. Hold Alt to unselect any object. Right click then hide selection to make your work very easy. Go to AEC extended then wall. We will use AEC Extended to make our wall because it automatically make opening for door and window. Press Alt plus X to see through the object. Go to Windows then Fixed and make the same dimension shown on the screen.
Go to doors then pivot and make the same dimensions shown on the screen. Right click then hide selection to make your work very easy. Go to shapes in create panel. Then choose line. Go to modify tap then create line. Move the pivot alignment until you get the perfect match. Right click then hide selection to make your work very easy. Press E for Rotate Tool. Press W to move the object. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.